everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are going to be making hot pepper jalapeno jelly. Freezer jam style. Or freezer jelly style. So, I've got you on the tripod again. So, let me put you down so you can see. Okay. Now, on this kettle, I have got some jalapenos chopped up. Um, I just chopped them on my chopper. Um, I want some texture to them. I don't want them extra fine. Now, you could take all the seeds and ribs out of your jalapenos like I did. Because there's a lot of people who have them. But the more spicy you want it, the more seeds and ribs you live in. Okay? So... I'm going to be making a double batch of this. <clears throat> so, the recipe that I'm going to rattle off to you all um, comes in the little uh, clear gel pack. Um, your thickening pack. Let me get you the box so you can also see. You get two I have pouches in each box and we're going to use both of them so now you could use pickled jalapenos in a jar it says here you don't have to use fresh I haven't had a lot of uh, fresh on hand and if you're doing them if your hands are sensitive I advise you to wear rubber gloves when sausaging these in half and taking the seeds and ribs out or working with them all together but they don't bother me. So, um, in the kettle we have got two cups. And they were a little bit heaped over. So, it's about a little bit over the two cup line. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner on. And then we're going to put in some apple juice. Um, we need one and one third cup of apple juice. And I just measured it out and poured it in my chopper. Now you're going to need some. I thought I had it out. I don't know where I said it. Let me find my apple cider vinegar. I got a new bottle, but I just got to figure out where I poked it. Found it. So you're going to need two tablespoons. Of your apple cider vinegar. And then you're going to need sugar. Now, I'm using Splenda, but you can use regular sugar. Um, it'll vary of how sweet you want it to be. On the original recipe right here, it says four cups of sugar. Um, so, I'm going to start with a cup. I think I'm going to put two cups in. Because I don't like it when it's real, real sweet. So, you adjust it to your sweetness. Like I said, the recipe that comes in the pack calls for four cups. So, I've only put two cups in, and this is a double batch. So, you just the sugar for each batch. You'll need two to four cups of sugar. Um, that's what it says here. So, we've got this heating up. It'll take a minute because I didn't have it on. And basically all we're doing is heating this up, dissolving our sugar, mixing everything together. And then once we know the sugar is dissolved, about two or three minutes, then we'll put our clear gel packs in. Um, you need one pack, clear gel pack for each um, 
batch you do. I know this is going to be backwards. When you read it. A lot of people put food coloring in theirs. I'm going to leave it out. You could put a couple drops of red or green. Either one you want to use. I just leave it that pretty color with the green flowing in it. So it'll be like a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Plus the apple juice, you know, um, is that color. And I'm using the apple juice that has Splenda in it. You don't have to. You can use your real uh, regular apple juice. I say even cider would be very good with all the spices and a hot pepper jelly. And then you could probably, if you don't like apple, apple, you could probably substitute for maybe a white grape juice uh, or something like that. I assume. One of the hot pepper jellies that I have ate has a little bit of apple taste in the background. But that don't bother me. At all. A lot of the recipes use apple juice. See, it's already steaming, so it's coming up. I'm just waiting for this to come to a boil, and then I know my sugar is um, dissolved in. And it, cause it don't take very uh, long for um, Splenda to dissolve, but regular sugar it will. Okay, so that's why I'm saying bring it up to a bowl where it starts making little bubbles. Then that way, if you use regular sugar, you know that it is dissolved. And this is freezer jelly, so this is going to go into little jelly jars and. Put it in the freezer. And this is what I'm talking about. Little jelly jars like this. Um, I get the ones that say freezer safe because I know they won't shatter um, during the freezer process. And what I do is these has already been um, already being washed real good and sterilized and stuff and so you want to do that with all your jars but you've seen me do that talk about that process in the strawberry freezer jam and then what I do tip it's also in the um, freezer strawberry freezer jam video I wipe the outside of the rim off because as you're ladling in it, you might drop some of the jelly and it'll get down in the grooves. So I'll make sure all the threads are clean and the top's clean when I wipe it with apple cider vinegar. And then I put the lid on. <clears throat> and then I let them sit on the stove overnight. Then the next morning I poke them in the refrigerator and let them sit a day. And after that, they go in the freezer. And then, they can last over a year or two in the freezer. And a few months in the refrigerator. A lot of people um, use this uh, <coughs> hot pepper jelly during the... Um, Holidays for an appetizer, you just warm it up slightly, pour over a block of cream cheese, and you eat it with crackers. That's a quick appetizer. I like to sometimes um, coat my tofu with it and bake it. Coat some fish and bake it, or chicken. It'll be all good on some chicken wings, whatever you want to do with them. And then you can keep basting uh, whatever you put it on as you bake it. Okay, I think... That it's almost. Let me grab me some scissors because you can't tear the tops off of these. You have to take the scissors and cut the long thingy. It's real, it's hard to do. I can't do it. 
So what I do is just cut where it says. See the little, see the little tiny barely bubbles coming? I hope you all see it. Maybe I'll wait a minute and let bigger bubbles come so you can see what I'm talking about. You see the bigger bubbles? Yep, yeah, see? Then you know it's good to put it in your pectin then. Now I suggest you to taste it before you put your pectin in. That way if you need to add more sure you can. You know what, I totally forgot to do that. But it's all good. I'll just put my other pack in and then I'll stir it and then taste it. So, um, that way all your sugar, regular sugars dissolve too before you put your pectin in. If you have to add more. Now spin it don't take very long to just because it's so powdery to dissolve. Okay. Let me taste it. I'm going to get some of the broth right here. And then blow it because I know it's going to be hot. Well, yeah, we are going to have to add another cup of sugar. So that's three all together. So let's stir that in. Like I said, remember to taste it before you add your pectin in. That way you have to add more sugar. I forgot about it, but I'm not going to worry about it because my... When it is super fine so it don't take long to dissolve. Some people also use, um, also instead if you don't like hot jalapenos, then do do red pepper or green bell pepper jelly. That's also a thing too. Okay, I'm turning it off now. Nope, we need more sugar. I so I guess the recipe. Well, it said four cups to one batch, and I'm doing a double batch, so. Of course, you sweeten it to your liking, okay? And you will have that little kick of how jalapeno. Um, if you don't like how a hot jalapeno, then don't make this. Make it with chopped up, finely chopped up, red or yellow, orange, green, red regular bell peppers that are sweet, okay? I'm just mashing some of them sugar clumps up against the side of the pot. And I know I probably got some of you watching this that does canning and freezer jam and stuff. Oh, girl, you're doing it so wrong. Well, it's my version. Yeah, so I'm tasting with this spoon because this jelly is just right, so. Perfect, perfect on the sugar amount. Double batch. Double batch here. So let's do a rundown. We have got two 
heaping cups, a little bit over two cups, of finely chopped jalapenos, taking the seeds and ribs out to make it less harder for me because some people in my household can't have the seeds and ribs. You can leave them in if you want it spicier. One and one thirds cup of bottled apple juice, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one to two drops of green or red food coloring, optional, two to four cups of sugar, and one pack of the liquid pectin. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get me a nice little ladle over here and I'm pouring them in a jar so you can see the color of it, okay? And I can't find my canning funnel. I don't know where I have poked it up in the cabinet. Sorry about the rattle. I was getting the the ladle out of the dish drainer because it, it got washed last night. Now see where it's got some dripping that means you need to clean off the edge. If I can find my canning funnel it would be so much easier to ladle in. And just like regular canning, pressure canning, I do leave a half an inch head space that way when it freezes also, you know, it don't pop up, stop, pop off, pop off the top. Don't you think it's going to look good after it sets up? And it'll take a few minutes to cool down and, you know, start setting up and stuff. Let me bring you back up. So that's that easy recipe of hot jalapeno jelly, freezer style. I'll see you at the next live, well, the next video. I forgot we're not doing lives no more. Once in a great while, we will. Bye, everybody.